Hello and welcome to Two Crimes and a Lie, the show where we test the true crime knowledge of two true crime aficionados. My name is Kevin and our guest today, you may recognize from the unsolved episode, The Haunting of Hannah Williams. Please welcome Hannah Williams. Hello. Is your house still haunted? Our house is no longer haunted as far as I know. Because the internet wants you to move. The internet isn't offering to come move my furniture for me though. <laughs> And up against Hannah today is the host of the excellent true crime podcast, Small Town Dicks. Please welcome Yardley Smith. Thank you. So tell us about the new season of the podcast. The Small Town Dicks is in its fourth season, although we're actually only about a year and a half old. On our podcast, all of our cases are told by the detectives who actually investigated the case. And I co-host with my friends Zibby Allen and identical twin detectives Dan and Dave. We're really proud of it. This is your life now? It's, it is my life, and yeah. Are you going to quit your other job? Yes, I'm going to quit my day job as Lisa Simpson. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, so here's how it works. I'm going to read you groups of three true crime headlines okay. and you guys have to each decide which two are true and which one is a lie. Each correct guess gets you a point. Most points at the end wins. Okay. okay. Feel free to play along at home and let us know how you did in the comments. First category, we're calling it years later. First headline, killer clown suspect arrested 27 years after bizarre slaying. <laughs> Second headline, German murder victim turns up alive after 30 years disappearance. And the third headline, Arizona man serves 23 year murder sentence, arrested for murder two days after release. Yardley, since you're our guest, which I one do you think is a lie? That's true, that's true, and that's a lie. So you think number two is a lie? That's what I think. Hannah, what do you think? I'm inclined to believe that three is a lie just because it would take longer than two days to build a case for a new murder, unless it was something that was done prior to going to prison, but that just seems a little unlikely to me. So you say number two, and Hannah, you say number three? Hannah, you're correct. <laughs> Go Hannah! Go <laughs> Hannah! Nice! <laughs> so that is a point for Hannah. Moving on to the next category, animal tales. First we have dead man's parrot could become key witness in murder trial. Ah! Next, local dog faces charges for shooting neighbor in foot. And number three, serial cat shaver on the loose in Virginia. Well, I think I need to get a parrot. Just in case, because that is pretty cool, and I think that's true. I think number three is so weird that it was put in there as a ploy. I'm going to say number two is the lie. I have to agree, because I can't actually figure out how the dog shoots the neighbor. Also, why the dog would face charges, the dog's yeah. owner would face charges. Can you charge a dog with a crime? I, I don't think you can. I don't, I've never heard of that. So you're both saying number two? That's what we're saying. You're both correct. Yeah. You can't <laughs> charge a dog with murder. <laughs> Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. I so want to be on Hannah's team. <laughs> it's so Lisa Simpson of me. <laughs> exactly. Like, we're a team. We don't want to go against right? each other. We can all win. Girl power. Yeah. Next category we're calling poor decisions. First headline. Franklin County man drinks invisible juice to hide from police after robbery. Seriously. Northern California man embezzles 4.8 million from his employer, spends 1 million on Game of War, which is a, a mobile game. I'm told. And then the last one is Florida man wearing I have drugs shirt arrested on meth charge. <laughs> we actually covered a case where a dude was wearing the don't do drugs t-shirt and he was selling meth. So that could happen. So which one do you think? I think the first one. You think number one? I do. Okay. I feel like I've seen that mugshot of the guy with the I have drug shirt. I feel like embezzling 4.8 million is really hard to do, especially from your employer. I think I'm gonna go with number one too as being false. You're both correct. Oh. There's no such no. thing as invisible juice. <laughs> well, I feel like they say he know, thinks he exactly. drank invisible juice. That's the point. If right. it was an actual right. headline. My question is about number two. If you want to spend a million dollars on a mobile game, at a certain point you win, right? There's nothing else that you can buy. Maybe I, I just don't know how this game works. Game of War, I think they keep refreshing with new versions, kind of like Candy Crush. Okay. But like one million? That seems like a lot. Okay, next category we are calling Dress the Part. First headline, police impersonator busted pulling over actual officer. Teletubby charged for break-in, Chinese food theft. Halloween store thief attempted escape by dressing as security guard, police say. I think number three is a lie because who would rob a Halloween store? You'd be surprised. <laughs> if you think about how bold it would be for somebody impersonating 
a policeman or a policewoman to pull over an actual police officer, that seems ballsy. So you say number one. Yeah. And Hannah, what did you say? I said number three. Number three? Well, Hannah, you're right. Oh my gosh. Look at Hannah, <laughs> <laughs> So about number one, so in 2012, a man impersonating a police officer pulled over a car claiming the driver was speeding. As it turned out, the driver was a real cop who then pursued the impersonator when he tried unsuccessfully to get away. Oh. All I do is host a true crime podcast. I don't actually but investigate these, the crime. The titles are very vague. <laughs> Open to a lot of interpretation. And yet, yes. You guys are getting fooled. Our last category is dumb alibis. Number one, burglars snort man's ashes, thought it was cocaine. Gross. That's not funny, but... That's gross. Texas A&M student arrested for killing grandmother claims avoiding midterms was motive. And number three, Florida man claims dog was driving after yep. DUI arrest. Good old Florida man. <laughs> I feel like the, the Florida man, this is like on insurance claims when people say the tree jumped out into the road. Right. Right? Right. So that's probably true. I mean, the burglars, maybe they were high on meth, so they snorted the man's ashes and they thought it was cocaine. I'm going to go with number two. Okay. Is a lie. That was also my instinct, number two. Then I feel like I'm right. If Hannah says it's two, then it must be true. But then I'm thinking about number one and I'm like, wouldn't the ashes be in an urn? Again, like context, if you're already hopped up, who knows? Yeah. Right? It's very true. I'm going to go with number two as well. Go with I hope two? it's not true. I think that's right? why I want to pick that. Okay. <laughs> Well, your faith in humanity is restored because it was number two. That would just be awful. Well, I had to make sure. it interesting, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fair enough. Tallying up the points here, our winner is Hannah Williams. Go ahead. I don't think I, this is something to brag about. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it speaks to your deductive mind. We're yes. also both winners because neither one of us was featured in any of those headlines. So <laughs> I think that's a win Fair. for everyone in this Fair room. Point. Yeah. There you go. There we go. go, girl. So Hannah, as your prize, you get an official BuzzFeed Unsolved Hey There Demons It's Your Girl no shirt. No way! Oh, man! So oh, that's rad. Do you want to invite them into your... I mean, it's already me, their right. girl. <laughs> we know They're each other. They're already in your home. We know so. each other well. So special thanks to our guests, Hannah Williams and Yardley Smith. Please check out Small Town Dicks wherever fine podcasts are downloaded. <laughs> Let us know how you did in the comments, and we'll see you next time on Two Crimes and a Lot. <laughs>